How are you feeling about this mission, Curtis? I feel great about it. Yeah. I feel like this mission's ambitious. Get all the gear strapped down to the ski. That must have sucked up something into the impeller. We got no power. Just a paddling, paddling down the river. We don't need a night light cause we are already glowing in your lifetime. No one was ever showing you what we're showing tonight. Watch your young eyes light up the night sky. We ain't even scared of the monsters in our cars that they made up. We ain't had enough tonight. Yeah. Brought to you by Epic Adventure Outfitters. Also by White Rock Dodge. And in part by What's up guys, hope you're having a good week. Welcome back. We're here in my office just getting ready to go out on our second jet ski adventure. Let me show you what we're doing for gear because things are a bit different than when we're in the Jeep. Compact hiking backpack here that's gonna hold all our gear. We've got a hiking tent, very small, light, compact. We've got this very light and compact sleeping bag from Nanga. Inflatable pillow, inflatable sleeping pad, hiking stove and uh, pot. Runs on isobutane fuel, some soap, and, a, and of course a Jackery. This is the uh, little guy, the Jackery 160, I believe. Yes, the Jackery 160. This is gonna be charging up camera batteries and whatnot so we have some power at camp. Because yes, we're camping with the jet skis. All right guys, we just got to the marina where we're gonna launch. Let's get all the gear strapped down to the ski. Just getting everything organized and we're gonna get into the wetsuits, get the skis in the water, and be on our way. How are you feeling about this mission, Curtis? I feel great about it. Yeah? Yeah. Nice of you to finally show up. <laughs> I feel like this mission's ambitious, but that should make it a good adventure. We're headed down the Fraser River, out towards the Pacific Ocean. Water levels are high and we'll need to be careful of logs and sticks floating around, but it's definitely cool seeing this area from a different perspective than usual. That's pretty cool. Stay there. <laughs> Got a problem we're heading down the Fraser River it's full of debris and I must have sucked up something into the impeller because it started vibrating like crazy we got no power so I'm gonna try and reach in under and see if I can feel anything out into the ocean here oh but we're close my fear is like going out into the ocean with no power just a paddling paddling down the river just a paddling, paddling down the river. So we got a beach. We put eyes on the wood. It's not good. I got Sean towing me in right now. He's got the arm muscles. I'm trying to save gas. We got this boat coming. has to be probably the biggest fail of a mission we've ever attempted. All right guys, it's the next day. Get whatever that was out of the impeller and then we're gonna get back out on the water. This little piece of wood is all it took. All right guys, we're out on the ocean. We'll launch it from the ocean this time because we're not going in the river again. Talking to the camera. Are you vlogging? I'm vlogging. What's in it? All 
Our destination is the end of the Indian Arm, an inlet of the Pacific Ocean. There, we're going to find a spot to camp, but not before we do some exploring on the way, of course. hydroelectric powerhouse. distance, we spotted the waterfall and decided to get up close for a better look. That's pretty epic. Don't want to get too close, just can't see any hazards under the water here, but... Finding cool stuff like this is exactly why we got jet skis to go adventuring on. We got the single seaters. <laughs> <laughs> Let's We just rolled up to Granite Falls. There's a lot of people here. A couple more jet skis just rolled in. That's cool. We're gonna take a look around. This place is crazy cool. In 1887, the Granite Falls area was used as a quarry for stone to build for the city of Vancouver after it was nearly burned to the ground. 
It operated as such until the mid-1900s, when it was purchased by the province to become part of a provincial park. Hiked up the waterfall a little bit. Really nice mist here. It's pretty good here. <laughs> right, then we're gonna hike down, take one more quick dip in the pool. So there's a dock here. Nice little area to camp. So we're gonna backpack our gear in, set up camp for the night. It's been a while since I've set up a tent like this. Home sweet home. All right guys, we're getting all set up here. Curtis got his tent set up. I got my tent set up. One of the things that I knew was gonna be a problem when we're coming down on these jet ski trips with the lack of power is being able to charge my camera batteries. So I grabbed one of these guys. This is the Jackery Explorer 160. Super light, super compact, but still able to charge all my camera batteries. So I'm gonna get everything plugged in and ready to go for later. Don't come near me. You'll get hungry. So the Jackery 160 also supports solar input. So we're gonna get some of the uh, Solar Saga 60 solar panels for the next trip, hopefully, so that we can charge these up on the go. If you're interested in picking up one of these, check out the link in the description. And uh, thank you to Jackery for always helping us out with our power needs on these trips. So this is a super portable stove I found on Amazon. We're gonna use to cook up some KD. Mm. That was a good meal. See you guys in the morning. I can't say I had an amazing sleep in that tiny tent and the thin sleep pad, but at least I know what I need to upgrade for the next trip. And we woke up to an absolutely beautiful morning. As this morning, we're just loading up the gear. Time to head back. Ocean is like glass here in the inlet, so it's looking like it's gonna be a good ride if we get out of here pretty quick. Get your story till now t-shirts, dirty and dangerous t-shirts, stickers, key tags, beer koozies. Appreciate your support, guys. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more adventures like this one. Heading back out, this is probably some of the smoothest water I've ever seen on the ocean. And that means a fun ride at max throttle back to the launch. Tame us, no fear, we scared of danger. So give it your best try. Can nobody stop us this time? So I'ma let my chest poke out just a little. I'm headed to the top, can't stop in the middle. We are on the rise. So keep watching the skies. We don't need a night like this. We are already going in your lifetime. No one's ever shown you what we're showing tonight. Young eyes light up the night sky We ain't even scared of the monsters in our closets that made up We ain't had enough tonight I your young eyes light up the night sky Light it up, light it up, light it up, light it up 
Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to check out some of my other adventures if you enjoyed this one. I think you'll like those too. And I'll see you next time. Toast to the dreamers. Royal tea, we the kings and the queens. And the kingdom's ours tonight. No, we won't be pushed aside.